Since the beginning of history, people have told stories about the merfolk, a strange water-breathing race, half human, half fish. These beautiful creatures have a hypnotic charm that humans find irresistible. But romances between the two species never seem to work out. He's from the wrong side of town, and she's from the bottom of the ocean. Like in Hawaii legend of King Maui, whose daughter had a thing for the mergod Purua Kamoa. The king drowned her, and when she tried to see the mergod behind her father's back, he punished them by turning Puru Kamoa to this mountain called the Aeo Needle. My guess, it took a little while before anyone else wanted to date King Maui's daughter. They say love conquers all, but how much can we change ourselves to make love work? 10%? 50%? Until we're no longer human at all?
beautiful. I'm sorry? Your song. But if you thought I meant you, you were right. Thanks. It was very sad, though, your song. Were you singing about someone in particular? Is that a roundabout way of asking me if I'm with someone? Is that a roundabout way of saying you're not with someone? Maybe. You've been alone a long time, haven't you? No, please. It just makes me curious. Men must have tried to get close to you. Why didn't you let them? Irene says we're ready to go, Mom. Um, okay, honey. Um, this is my son, Jack. Jack, this is... Lyle. Lyle. Lyle Nereus. Um, I'll be alone in a minute, okay, honey? No problem. So, it was nice to meet you, Lyle. Yes. You too, Jack. Okay, then. I have to go, but I want to talk to you more. Tomorrow. I don't even know you. You can contact me at my hotel. The Century Plaza Hotel. Daddy girl, they're gonna watch you out of junior high school. Cannot believe I have to stay home from the gates to do this stupid promotion test. I totally feel like Cinderella. Jack, you gotta tell me all the answers, please. Not tonight, Fiona. Why not? Jack's all wigged out because your mom met a guy. A guy? Hey, there was something really creepy about him, okay? Was he like a stalker? Did he do something weird? Well, yeah. He talked to her. He talked to her. You're wigged out because a guy talked to mom. Hello, I'm in, like, trouble here. I forgot my bag on the bus. You don't. Fee, 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 fee. Your scores on these multiple choice exams have nothing to do with actual knowledge. It's all in your test-taking strategies. You got your balancing the grid... Your same answer runs, and the most important of all, educated guessing. Really? Yeah, these things, uh, they've been passed down from generation to generation of test takers everywhere. Well, who might argue with tradition? It was my good fortune. I came here to leave a message for Molly and saw this pool of water. So you decided to swim? I love the water. You swim like a fish. I want your mother to meet me at the aquarium tomorrow when the sun is at its zenith. You mean noon? Molly is very special, Jack. I wanted to be a part of my life. Yeah. Well, 
That would be up to her. Of course. Jack. When you talk to mom, give her this. Okay. You fear what's coming, Jack. Can't be real. Grandma Valerie says you can tell it's real by biting it. it. Well, if it's real, it'll feel really gritty. It's real. So, what are you gonna do? Well, obviously I can't keep it. I'm gonna have to give it back to him at the aquarium. What? You mean you're gonna see him again? I mean, Mom, this guy appears out of nowhere, and then he swims in our pool, and he gives you things. Okay, I know it doesn't sound that bad when I say it out loud, but still, I appreciate the concern. I do. <laughs> I promise I'll be home by 10. <laughs> <sighs> You look great. Thank you. I rarely have a reason to dress up. You got my gift. Yes. Do you like it? It's exquisite. But I can't possibly accept it. Please, keep it, Molly. At least until the end of our time together. Then afterwards, you can give it back if you still want to. All right. So, why the aquarium? I want to introduce you to my friends. They're beautiful. Are they? You don't think so? Sometimes when things become too familiar, you forget how beautiful they actually are. But seeing the world through the eyes of another makes everything new. It's wonderful again. Do you spend a lot of time around fish? <laughs> yes. Nearly all of it. So, what, you're a marine biologist? Molly, do you see this one? Flatfish, right? Black fish, yes. His natural color is dark, mottled, as you see it now. But he has the ability to change the color of his upper body. So he blends in with his surroundings. So he can hide from predators. Or lay in wait for his own prey. But he's always white underneath, right? The threat of exposure is always there, Molly. But he's very careful. He's clever. You do spend a lot of time around fish. What? He saw me. The octopus? You see the way he moves his head?
by touching. It's the surest way to know the truth. What does it tell you about me? That you're intelligent, sensitive, <laughs> and that you suffered losses. Yet it hasn't stopped you. Yeah. Well, being a mom is knowing that you're going to get up every day and make it work. Even if you don't think you can. But your children will be grown soon and gone. What then? Wow. You really don't sugarcoat things, do you? Studying the ocean teaches you that there are no guarantees any of us will be here tomorrow. It teaches you that if you want something, you go after it. You take it. You mean that's what fish do? show you something. Wait a minute. He can't be serious. What is it, Molly? Are you afraid to trust a mysterious stranger? author's intent in paragraph four is C. if two to the power of x plus one is equal to 16 then the value of x must be d fish is a trout as e yes that's my girl record time 
Let's tally up this score. See? Yeah. You're brilliant. Almost 30% correct. Carrie, that's not a very good score. Well, Fee, if you're desperate enough to try this technique, you should really be grateful for whatever you get. And you're telling me you aced this test? In the sense that it taught me a very valuable life lesson. Hey, guys. Hey, Fee, do you think I could take your laptop to the club with me tonight? Sure, since I'm going to have to do actual studying. Thanks. I'll wait up. I'll go with you. Sorry, Fee. That'll work. Carrie. Carrie, where's mom? Uh, she went down to the pier with that guy she met last night. Molly. I want you with me. I can't let that happen, Molly. I love you. I can give you things no woman has ever dreamt of. Untold beauty. Treasures you can't even imagine. All you have to do is come away with me. Tonight. this jack look you psycho i don't know what you think you are you better stay away from me. jack no I'm sorry, Molly. 
until he fell and I saw your face, I didn't understand. with the Monday Night Football Club and check out some of today's hottest athletes in Disney Channel's original series, The Jersey, here on Disney Channel.